Welcome back. We are continuing our series, Kids in the Kitchen. I'm here with Hy-Vee dietitian Katie George, and this week we have her daughter, Jenna, helping us out, and we are in Katie's kitchen. We are in my kitchen, and we have Jenna here, and she is so excited, aren't you? Uh -huh. Yes, so Jenna, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old, and how long have you been cooking with me? Since three. Since three, so, so long. So we have been learning skills, which is incredibly important, um, since you were able to, to really do it. And so what we are going to do, my kids really helped pick some of these recipes out. We're featuring some of the favorites and uh, making sure that, of course, they are healthy as well. So we are going to be making a summer berry um, muffin today, and we're going to nice. go ahead and get started, shall we? Yes, all right. <laughs> so we are going to be using, first and foremost, I know that I use this product a lot. It, I, it is still blows me away how many people are not familiar with it. I'm going to be using two of the products today from Kodiak Cakes. Kodiak Cakes, this is their pancake mix. And so in this box is actually four cups of pancake mix, which is a lot, to be honest. And what's great about it is that it is protein packed. And these kids need protein at breakfast so that they stay full um, throughout the day or throughout the morning more so than anything because when you go to school you don't get a snack right no, no. Only so kindergarten. only kindergartners <laughs> do so when they are in school we got to make sure they get some protein in yes. so we are making some muffins that are protein packed and then really good fiber as well so this is truly a one to one to one um, recipe so you can use w it and it uses three ingredients one cup of the powder one egg and then one cup of water or milk as well. So um, it is your option. If you use milk, it's just gonna be a little bit extra um, protein, a little bit extra calcium in there as well. So um, if you wanna do two cups, you can do two, two, and two. So it's truly up to you. So um, we're gonna go ahead and Jenna's gonna get started and she's gonna do my egg, egg cracking for me. We always do it in a separate bowl because guess what? Shells happen. Yes, and they do. We want to make sure that if it does happen, we can get those out real quick before we put them in. So we're going to go ahead and you can crack the egg for me like you know how to, right? And you open it up and look, no shell, wow, right? Wow. And you're going to take that and you're going to throw it in the trash right where it belongs. I'm going to have you do the second one as well. Let's see if we get any shells. Do we get any shells? I don't think so. No shells. Wow. Awesome. That's impressive so, because I would definitely have I know. Shells. It's, it is one of those <laughs> things. So in here, um, this is our Kodiak mix. We have two cups of the powder. So we are going to put two cups of the powder in. And then, Jenna, do you want to add the, um, eggs. the eggs? Yeah, you can add them. Just dump them right on in. From here, again, master stir here. I'm gonna add about two cups of water. You can add milk if you want. Again, if you're just like, I got some milk that's gonna expire, um, you can absolutely do that. And she's just gonna stir that together and get it um, all incorporated. From here, some fresh summer berries. So we were busy ahead of time chopping up some raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. And we don't wanna add these until we really get everything mixed together. Because if you add these before, you're just gonna kinda, it's all gonna kinda get a little sludgy oh, yes. and it's gonna not be um, super, um, it's just gonna kinda turn tie-dye, to be mm -hmm. honest. So we just wanna make sure, do we have any lumps? No. Well, we sometimes got to just double check. That's why mom's <laughs> here, right? Really flip and make sure that all of the powder is gone. And so we're going to do that. Flip, flip, flip. And then from here, we do what's called folding. So if you remember, Jenna, how do you fold? You take it and you flip, flip it. it. So take the batter and flip it. So I'm going to add a little bit of berries. And Jenna is taking it and flipping it, really trying not to smush the berries too much. So at this point, you get to decide what size of muffins to make. And I've made a variety of different sizes here. And I thought, Stephanie, you would probably like this because what I don't like as a mom is throwing food away. Oh, yes. And so as, a, as mm -hmm. somebody with a young one, mm -hmm. like you can make mini muffins. And like if she has one and wants more, let's give her two. That's perfect. It is. And so um, I actually made a couple different sizes of these. I made some mini muffins. I made some smaller and some bigger muffins yes. as well. Um, and I'm actually serving it with Kodiak 
syrup. So oh. this is kind of like a pancake syrup, but it is a fruit syrup that is way lower in sugar than any pancake syrup. And um, it's actually made with fruit puree. It is amazing. I mean to tell you, um, people who don't really like um, like flavored syrups, they love this. So okay. what I would do is I would give this to my kids at, into a little cup and maybe use it as a dip, right? Or you can drizzle it over if you want, but nice. it just adds a great amount of flavor yeah. because this just doesn't have a lot of sugar in it and that's okay, but sometimes just adding a little bit of flavor is great. So do you want to be my taster? Sure. Should we do a little bit of a dip? <laughs> Is it Jenna approved? Oh, it's Jenna Thumbs approved. Up. Jenna approved. There you go. <laughs> All right, Jenna, great job. We'll have the recipe on our website.